Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the 2020 North Hollywood High School Virtual Senior Night Award Ceremony. Tonight, we celebrate the perseverance and determination of a group of high school seniors who have succeeded in very difficult circumstances. Between the COVID quarantine beginning in March and the recent protests in memory of George Floyd, these seniors have experienced unique challenges that will forever memorialize their senior year of high school. We here at North Hollywood High School are grateful for the incredible character these students have shown. And so, let the award ceremony begin. Hello, I'm Mr. Rosales, principal of North Hollywood High School. The late superintendent, Michelle King, established a superintendent's honor roll award for all graduates in the class of 2017 and beyond who achieve a grade point average of 3.8 or above in A through G courses. This GPA includes all credits for A through G coursework completed in grades 10th and 11th. Students who earn this award will be given a district issued purple colored cord symbolizing their phenomenal academic achievement to wear. It is with pleasure to honor the following students. This is Mr. Chavez, Assistant Principal, here to present the Persistence Award. The Persistence Award was established in 2019 to recognize students who are identified in Tier 2 or 3 in fall semester and successfully complete graduation requirements by the end of the school year. Students who earn this award will be provided with the district-issued copper colored cord, symbolizing their academic persistence. It is with great pleasure to honor the following students. This is Mr. Crow with the presentation of the Posse Foundation Scholarship Award. The Posse model works for both students and college campuses and is rooted in this belief that a small, diverse group of talented students, a Posse, is carefully selected and trained to serve as a catalyst for individual and community development. Posse believes that the leaders of the 21st century should reflect the country's rich demographic mix. The Posse Foundation selects individuals with extraordinary leadership potential and provides a full tuition leadership scholarship from Posse's partner colleges and universities. It is our pleasure to announce Angie Aguilar, who will attend Northwestern University with her posse. The California Community Foundation's Board of Directors and staff remain fully committed to making a difference through meaningful advocacy, outreach, and community investments. Every dollar they grant represents a donor's legacy, a dream for lasting change, and a chance to bring that dream to life. We are fortunate to be granted the Gladys Byron Memorial Scholarship, the alumni Jim and Herton Cummings Scholarship, and the Joan Laurel Bennett Scholarship. The Committee of Counselors is proud to present the Gladys Memorial Scholarship to Carlos Perez, Nicole Spatsova, Varvara Rupsova, Paula Nicole Hernandez Gonzalez, Mashley Martinez, Natalie Soto, and David Garcia. We are also proud to present the Jim and Herton North Hollywood High School Alumni Scholarship to Diana Guardado, Emily Jin, and Catherine Fierro. And lastly, we are happy to present the John Laurel Bennett Scholarship to Christopher Hernandez. Congratulations. The Seal of Biliteracy is an award given by a school, school district, or state in recognition of students who have studied and attained proficiency in two or more languages by high school graduation. Our vision is to help students recognize the value of their academic success and see the tangible benefits of being bilingual. The California State Seal of Biliteracy criteria established in legislation certifies attainment of a high level of proficiency in two or more languages. The English criteria includes completion of all English language arts requirements for graduation with an overall grade point average of 2.0 or above, passing the California Standards Test in English Language Arts administered in grade 11 at the proficient level or above. For English learners not reclassified, attain the overall early advanced level on the English language development test. 
the criteria for proficiency in a language other than English is one of the following. Passing a world language advanced placement examination with a score of three or higher. Successful completion of a four-year high school course of study in a world language and attaining an overall grade point average of 3.0 or higher. Passing a school district language exam that at a minimum assesses speaking, reading, and writing, passing at a proficient level or higher, or passing the SAT2 world language examination with a score of 600 or higher. Each student will receive a white cord to recognize their achievement. It is my pleasure to honor the students on the list. Mrs. Eglish Kosoff established the A Better Way Scholarship Program, which provides money and mentoring for several worthy local high school students for both their first and second year of college. Congratulations to the recipients of the Better Way Scholarship, Emily Jin and Alan Espinoza. Good evening, everyone. The Graduation Honors Award recognizes students who have earned a cumulative GPA of 3.0 to 3.59 from their freshman year through senior fall semester. Each student will receive a bronze cord. It is with great pleasure to honor the following students. Congratulations. Susan Bonoff was a college counselor at North Hollywood High School from 1990 to 1999 and the director of the first project STEPS Gear Up Grant. When she passed in 2007, her family established a scholarship in her memory to help deserving students in need of financial assistance. This year's recipients are Jacqueline Clark, Aurora Eguizabal, Helen Getnick, Nayeli Luis Martinez, Carla Mendez, Erica Samayoa, and Emily Vidal. Congratulations. On August 26, 1968, Fred Dumas, first president of the Council of Black Administrators and principal of Crescent Heights Elementary School, appeared before the Board of Education of the Los Angeles Unified School District and introduced the newly organized council. In his presentation, he stated, The forces or unrest in our minority communities have placed new and dramatic demands upon the schools of our nation. We ed educators of black heritage, proud of the commitment to the profession, fully cognizant of our pledge of service to all the children of all the people and continuing in our dedication to quality education for all students, do affirm also the unique role which we can serve in these times of tension and change. He stated further, our roots are very deep within the black community. We have an understanding of the black community because of our oneness with it. Our empathy is born of the suffering and we intend to take discrimination that all Blacks have endured. He conclu concluded by saying, positions on those issues which affect the education of Black children or the services of Black personnel and hope that this may be done within the framework of the institution. Congratulations, Sierra Friendly. The Graduation High Honors Award recognizes students who have earned a cumulative GPA of 3.6 to 3.9 from their freshman year through senior fall semester. Each student will be given a silver cord. It is with pleasure that we honor our High Honors Award recipients. Valley University Women's Scholarship was established in 1945 in the San Fernando Valley of Los Angeles, California comprised of women who have graduated from a college or university. Their purpose is to encourage higher education by providing scholarships, stimulate intellectual thinking, provide opportunity for creative thinking and strengthen friendship among university women, and support young men to do the same. This year's scholars are Lynette Rios, Diana Guardado, Baron Vittorio Resnick. We here at North Hollywood are especially proud of all of our academic teams. This year, our Science Bowl team just recently placed fourth in the nation. It is my pleasure to honor the two seniors in this, this year's Science Bowl team, Emily Jin 
and Cindy Z. Each year, the Associated Administrators of Los Angeles award scholarships to outstanding LAUSD students for their academic achievement, school community service, and their financial need. Applicants in traditional high schools, option schools, and community schools are selected by the ALA committee. It is our pleasure to recognize Emily Vidal as a recipient of the ALA scholarship. Good evening. This is Ms. Rademacher, the counselor for the Highly Gifted Magnet. The graduation High Honors with Distinction Award recognizes students who have earned a cumulative GPA of 4.0 and above from their freshman year through senior fall semester. Each student will receive a double strand gold cord. It is with great pleasure to honor the following students. Congratulations. Milken Scholars are selected from high schools located within the greater Los Angeles area. The program offers selected graduating high school students financial assistance as well as lifetime access to a wide array of resources. These resources include ongoing academic and career-related counseling, assistance with internships, opportunities for community service, and a fund to assist with the transition from college to graduate school or the world of work. Ideally, these resources create a system that puts talented youth in the position to achieve their goals and in the process make a difference in the lives of those around them. Congratulations, Patrick Kim. QuestBridge is a powerful platform that connects the nation's brightest students from low-income backgrounds with leading institutions of higher education and further opportunities. They are an aggregator of excellence. QuestBridge aims to increase the percentage of talented low-income students attending the nation's best universities and the ranks of national leadership itself. It is my pleasure to recognize Saren Shin, who will be attending Brown University. Over 1.6 million students took the PSAT NMSQT qualifying test nationwide. Of the 1.6 million students, 50,000 qualified as a commended student for their outstanding performance. It is our great honor to recognize these outstanding students. The 18 commended students in the 2020 National Merit Scholarship Program from North Hollywood High School are... Julian Berte, Lauren Carter, Min Choi, Eileen Garcia, Benjamin Hewitt, Kyle Ignacio, Sean Lee, Stanton Lee, Nurum O, oh, Louis Pang, Lucien Reyes, Owen Rose, Julian Rubenstein, Varvara Rubstova, Saren Shin, Hannah Stimmel, Irene Yi, and Ella Young. Congratulations to the 18 commended students. Of the 50,000 students, 16,000 were designated semifinalists on a state representational basis. Of the 16,000 semifinalists, 7,500 met all requirements to advance to finalist standing, with some receiving scholarships. The 11 semifinalists from North Hollywood High School in the 2020 National Merit Scholarship Competition are Farah. Ahmed, Sean Cho, Hannah Dong, Emily Jin, Katiravan Kanan, Patrick Kim, Isabel Lee, Christine O'Connor, Siddharth Pisharodi, Ari Rosen, and Cindy Shi. Congratulations to the 11 semifinalists. Of the 11 semifinalists, two students from North Hollywood High School were selected as the winner of the National Merit $2,500 scholarship. The winners of the scholarship are 
Emily Jin and Christine O'Connor. On behalf of the Association of California School Administrators, AXA, Region 16, we'd like to congratulate Josh Smart on being our region's awardee for every student succeeding. This is a testament to your hard work, resiliency, and dedication. We're very proud of you. Even though we cannot gather in person, we would like to celebrate your award virtually. My name is Dana Caruso, and I'm here to read the names of the 2020 valedictorians. Julian Joseph Bertay, Declan Bulwa, Aura Sophia Egyeseval, Raquel Gerson Frolik, Aaron Michael Hoffman, Emily Jin, Patrick Jisoo Kim, Sung Hyun Lee, Eric Miller, Adele Zoe Schwartzman, Sasha Stevens, Shant Abkaria Tepalikian, Cindy Shia, Ella Young. Congratulations to all. At this time, I'd like to thank everyone for watching our Class of 2020 Senior Awards. We will see everyone in our virtual graduation on Friday night. Have a safe and wonderful evening, and it's a great day to be a Husky.